Today we will make Christmas decoration. We will make them from hazelnuts with a silver silver colored yarn. They're pretty easy to make and they are very very nice as a Christmas decoration for the Christmas tree or wherever you want you'd like to hang them. You can after paint the hazelnut in bronze color, you can also use golden yarn uh, made into the braiding with uh, Bordeaux red, for example, or uh, a noble noble blue. I will show you so that everybody could make his own Christmas decoration. There are many kinds of decoration. There are also paper garlands. They all were done. People made their their decoration them, themselves in the past. Uh, it also gives more pleasure. And it is not very, it, it isn't that difficult as it looks like. First, you start with the vise uh, opening the, the hazelnuts. In this case, I already have done. You, when you, you should use a vise if you want to separate them in perfect halves. And then you look at the, the broader side. Broader, the broader side of the hazelnut, the, mostly is a broader side, and you put the hazelnut in the vise with the broader side. You put it in the in the in the, in the vise, small vise or bigger vise, and then very carefully, little by little, little turn, little t don't put a lot of pressure on it very very slowly crack them and then you could open them with a screw die driver for example um, but really uh, don't go very quickly with the vise do it very very slowly like this and then you hear it cracking and then some will of course um, be not a success they will not be uh, useful they, they have to be more or less two halves, not three, four, two, two halves. We need two halves. Well, let's get started. The first thing we do, ah, we use also white carpenter's glue. We will make the yarns. <clears throat> as this is a single yarn, as you can see, it's only single. It doesn't look nice if we would use that. What we are going to do is we will make rope from it. This looks much nicer. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. It's thicker and it has a structure. It has a structure. In order to make these these yarns, we cut a reasonable length, not too long because and you will have too much waste about let's say a little more over a, an adult man, male hand long length we cut we take that yarn and then we need for example this we could use in the, the gluing pot we take we take the yarn like this and we put it over the pot and we turn both ends we turn them both in the same direction clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on in which way your yarn is uh, turned as it is fiber that is turned yarn yarn is fiber fibers that they turn together then don't overturn them otherwise they will twist uh, very ugly and you just take them after the turning is ready you take them like this off and then you need to Give it a help, and then send like this. It will turn from itself. It's ready now. It is turned. They are turned in one another. Next thing is make a knot. Two knots, in fact. 
make two knots so that it will be a big knot. That one is done. And on the other side, uh, this, we do the same. On the other hand, and on the other end, we make a double knot as well. Now we have our knot, both sides, we cut off the axis. Next step, I always save these coffee stirrers from, they, they have coffee here in the shops and I, I don't throw them away as they are excellent for applying glue. can use them over and over again. Also to remove glue, they're excellent. When you're gluing wood together you can use, they are already rounded and you can can uh, remove from very sharp cor inside corners, you can remove the glue by using. And we take one of those walnuts Take walnut. We have our yarn and we start applying glue. It took a little bit too much, so I let it go inside in the pot again. Yes. Okay. And we apply the glue on both both halves of the hazelnut. Next thing is we take the yarn. Well, what I do, I already put a little drop of glue onto the ends. And like that they are together like a loop. It forms a loop. And I use it already like that. I, it won't be um, difficult. And then take the loop and my hazelnut. And we, of course, Insert the yarn at the top of the hazelnut. The top. The top is in that case. I'll show you. The top is in that case. This is the top. The top. We insert the yarn and has to be in the center, well centered, properly centered. What we do now is to press it together with the hand first 
and already remove excess glue that squeezes out. Make sure that the loop is perfectly centered and nice looking. There's not a space here. They should come together. It still can happen that they would be apart and that would, wouldn't look nice. Make sure that they are not apart. And then you have squeezed them and removed all excess glue, as that would be ugly. And we put them in the vise. And leave them to dry for like half an hour. When clamp, when putting it, putting it in the vise, just put it in gently. Don't overdo the job that it would crack or move. Make sure that the two halves didn't uh, move. They should be well centered. And we leave it in this vise for like half an hour. And this gives this gives a nice nice result. Leave it to dry for half an hour. And this gives a beautiful end result, which you can hang in the Christmas tree. You can hang a bunch of them together, or you can do the single ones. You can also give them different lengths. You can also paint them with bronze or something. But I like the natural charm. You can also varnish them so that the wood texture comes out more. I would probably varnish them. Make them more durable, maybe too. That with the moisture, the glue wouldn't. Um, with the humidity, the glue could. Um, Come apart, though I doubt that this wood glue would do this because this wood glue is um, one that is a little bit water resistant. It doesn't mean that this white glue would be um, resistant under the water, but it is, it can resist the humidity a little. It's they write it down. Wasser fest fest of Deutsch, ça le résiste à l'eau. C'est une colle qui résiste à l'eau en français. Water bestendig in het Nederlands. I hope uh, that this tutorial uh, inspired you to make your own decoration. I will make fun more of decoration for the Christmas garlands of paper and things like that. But I, I, I know that other people also have beautiful videos on YouTube or, or on the internet. If you have any questions, just mail me. Um, I'll, I'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching.